Nicole, the math lady, and today's lesson is on measuring angles with a protractor. So I have my hand and end protractor right here, and that's what a protractor does. It measures angles. So uh, the first angle I want to introduce to you doesn't look much like an angle of all, right? We usually think of an angle as having like a bend in it somewhere, but this straight across is called a straight angle. And a straight angle measures 180 degrees. And if I took my protractor and I just looked and I said, oh yeah, there's zero, and went all the round, all the way around to 180, straight angles are 180. We also have angles that are, where a, a perpendicular the line goes straight, ooh, try to do it as straight as I can. And this measures 90 degrees. If I got my protractor here, Let's put, hold it on the right side. And if I measure from here all the way up, I'm using the inside of my protractor, by the way. We know that angle, that's a, a right angle like that, we call it a right angle, it measures 90 degrees. Now, if I had angled anywhere between here and here, and that could show you that on my protractor, it might measure 20, 30, 40, 70, 80, by the way, those are angles that open up this way. So let's say I was one over here or one over here. Angles between here and here are called acute angles. And my little Nicoleisms, I just think, oh, they're tiny. They're less than 90. They're so cute. They're like little cute angles. Acute. Okay, here we go. Acute angles. Acute are less than 90. Degrees, I wrote percentage, I meant to write degrees. Overly excited. And then we have angles that go past 90 degrees, and maybe it's an angle here or here, right? We start here and it goes all the way to over here. So from here to here, we call those obtuse angles. And I don't know why, but obtuse just sounds big to me. Obtuse, it's greater than 90 degrees. So those are your four kinds of angles. Now let's use our protractor to try to measure some of these angles. So here I have drawn a uh, handy dandy protractor. Uh, no, it's not perfect, but it'll work for our purposes. So you should have your own protractor, and I don't know if you've noticed, but there's two sets of numbers on your protractor. There's one on the inside and one on the outside. And that just helps you to determine, you have to determine what angle are you measuring? Are you measuring one that opens up this way? or are you measuring one that starts here and opens up this way? We're gonna take a look and show you which side to use. So let's start by looking at angle B, A, C. B, A, C. So this one opens up this way. What kind of angle is it? Acute, obtuse, right, straight? It's an acute angle, because it's less than 90 degrees. And what we would do is we take our protractor, put it on A and see where our, this line AC crosses. I can show you on my protractor, we're gonna read the inside. We're gonna start from zero and go up to 50. So this one is 50 degrees. What about CAB? So wait, I just did BAC. Now I'm doing CAB and it is the same angle measurement. I'm just starting from here. So does it mean I need to change the side that I'm measuring it on? No, it still is opening up this way. So the measurement is still going to be 50 degrees. What about FAB? FAB, we can see it starts here, measures up all the way to here. That is what kind of angle? It's an obtuse angle, more than 90 degrees. So we're gonna use the inside and go all the way to, now this is between the 150 and the 160, so we're gonna estimate and say that it's 155, 155 degrees. Now let's look at angle GAE, GAE. Now this is one of those instances where we'd use the other side of the protractor because it starts here and opens up this way. And what kind of angle is this? It's less than 90 degrees, so it is an acute, acute angle. Uh, our measurement is going to be, we're using the outside, 60 degrees. GAC, G-A-C, it is 
more than 90 degrees. It goes all the way to the 130 degree mark. And again, it's an obtuse angle. It's more than 90 degrees, but we are using the outside to measure it because of how it opens up. So our answer is 130. And what about GAF? G-A-F. Oh, we, again, we can see it opens up this way, so we're using the outside, and we can see that it's less than 90 degrees. It's this big. It's a cute angle. Since it falls between 20 and 30, we're going to say it's 25 degrees. And that's it. You now understand how to measure angles using a protractor. Make sure you try the practice examples to see if you are being effective in using yours. Well, that's it. I'm done with you for today on this topic. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.